Hey everybody, it's Eric here. I've had an awesome week this week and I just wanted to start off by saying a big thank you to all the people who like my new Facebook page. I'll be posting my videos on there from now on, so hopefully it'll make it much easier for you guys to follow me and share with your friends. Now, I know last week I began um, the first video in my multi-part series discussing the most profound experiences and ideas that have shaped my life. I even left you guys with a question to ask regarding your own lives and hopefully you've given it some thought. But I wanted to interrupt the multi-part series this week by addressing uh, some feedback that my friend gave me regarding my videos. Now he said that I haven't been very clear in my intention with this creative endeavor. Uh, what is it that I hope to achieve? What is it about my style that people will find useful? And I think ultimately, why should you guys listen to what I have to say? Why should you give me your time? I believe that this is a really important question to address before I make any more videos. And I'll start off by being very clear with my intention. The purpose of me standing here in front of the camera and speaking to you guys is to hopefully um, inspire you guys to see the importance of self-development, personal growth, uh, self-awareness and increasing your knowledge base. These ideas have had, like I said, a profound effect on my life and I hope to inspire you guys to walk the journey yourselves. Now, I have a couple of pictures this week to help illustrate my next points. Now, this first picture here represents knowledge and these are the dots of knowledge that we accumulate in our lifetime. If you think about it, since we were very young, we went to primary school, to high school, some of us moved on to tertiary education, apprenticeship or job, and essentially we were learning uh, new topics and new subjects all the time. Some we enjoyed and some we didn't, but uh, in the end it was always learning new things. Now, I don't know about you guys, but for me, after university, I found that I stopped accumulating new dots of knowledge, or at least I was no longer active in accumulating new dots of knowledge. Uh, I was uh, still learning, but all my learning was passive, and any proactiveness I engaged in was in areas that I already enjoyed or had uh, a large interest in. And I think this can be illustrated by the size of the dots in this picture, the large dots representing the things that we know really well compared to the smaller dots the things that we don't know so well. Now, this next picture that I have is experience. And experience essentially is when you take action. And by taking action, the right sort of action over time, you start developing these experience lines that connect the different knowledge dots together. And when you add knowledge and experience together, what you get is wisdom. And the great thing about wisdom is that it allows you to uh, you make use of your dots of knowledge uh, effectively in your day-to-day -day lives. When I reflect upon those years after university, my knowledge and experience, I must say, told me that I was living a great life, that there was no need to step out of my comfort zone. I had an awesome girlfriend, uh, I had a good job, I had good friends, I was competing in Taekwondo. I didn't really have anything to complain about and like I said, no need to step outside my comfort zone. But when I say that I didn't have any problems or issues, I think what I really meant was that the areas in my life that I considered problematic, I had accepted that they would be unchangeable and I sweeped them to the back of my mind so it didn't affect me on a surface level. And it wasn't until I went through that life-changing experience with uh, Emily's birth did I begin to question the stories that I was telling myself regarding the unchangeableness of those situations, those problems and challenges. And because of that incredible moment, I decided to go on the journey of uh, self-development, personal growth, and I accumulated heaps of new dots of knowledge and experiences. And when I accumulated that new wisdom, I was able to see my problems and challenges in a different light. And I had really massive epiphanies regarding those um, problems and challenges. And what those epiphanies are, essentially, is the creative process. When you get enough of the right dots and enough of the right experience, you are able to um, make sense of all the knowledge and experience that you have 
and it goes from this incoherent picture to something that gives you clarity and when you have clarity you have a better understanding and with a better understanding you have power you have power to um, make the right choices in those uh, ch in the face of those problems and challenges now I want you guys to understand that you engage in this creative process every day of your life uh, every bit of wisdom that you have you combine in some way to have um, creative epiphanies and to give you an example, it's like when you uh, go to work and you all of a sudden one day realize that there is a better way to do something that no one else has um, seen before. And that's you engaging in the creative process. I invite you guys to consider that the wisdom that you gain from uh, personal growth, self-development, is wisdom that will give you clarity to face those problems and challenges in your life just like it did for me. Now, I don't pretend to know everything and I don't pretend to say that uh, everything I'm going to tell you is the right thing to do. In fact, you should be very wary of the people who say that their way is the only way. When people get dogmatic with their ideas, it just breeds um, separation and segregation uh, us versus them attitude which isn't helpful to anybody and I'm sure you guys uh, agree that this us versus them attitude is the root of a lot of problems in our world I don't seek to replace your way of thinking regarding how to deal with your life what I want to really do is just provide you more tools in your tool belt to help you deal with these different um, issues and problems I know that um, a lot of you won't have any interest in picking up the same self-help books that I do. But through this medium of video, I hope that by sharing my wisdom via a creative narrative that you'll enjoy, I can inspire you to walk your own journey. Now, my friends, if you decide to take a leap of faith and walk this journey, I just want to let you know that it's going to be very difficult. In fact, you'll encounter a lot of resistance, especially from yourself. Your own brain will try to stop you from uh, going on this journey. Your own brain doesn't want you to step outside your comfort zone. Your own brain doesn't like to be uncomfortable. And when you engage in um, personal growth and self-awareness, it is extremely uncomfortable in the beginning. It forces you to examine your own life and to take responsibility for your own choices. Um, this can be illustrated by uh, fitness. Yeah, when people try to take on a new fitness regime, their mind, their knowledge and experience tells them that, yes, fitness is good for you. You need to do it consistently. You need to do it a couple of times a week. But how often are you able to rationalize and convince yourself that you need to skip a day or that you don't put in the effort? and still gain the same results. My friends, you also experience a lot of resistance from people in your lives, especially your loved ones. And it's not hard to see why that is the case. When you engage in self-development and you take responsibility for your choices, it shines a light on the fact that they need to take responsibility of their own choices as well or it reveals to them that they haven't been taking action in their own lives. And the most common criticism that I come across from people against um, delving into self-help is that the ideas and the um, philosophies are not really useful to anyone because they're obvious and evident, self-evident. and there is some truth to that, I must admit. Ideas like know thyself, follow your heart, um, have courage, show discipline, march to the beat of your own drum. These ideas have existed for hundreds of years and they've been the um, themes and subjects of numerous movies and even internet memes. But the thing is, my friends, if you think about it, how many people do you know in your life who actually follow their heart. How many people do you know who work in jobs that they hate because they're so consumed by the fear of the unknown to not follow their dreams? 
How many people do you know who understand the concept that their uh, family members and significant other love them, but continuously engage in silly squabbles and arguments all the time? The thing is with these ideas, they are very simple. They are extremely simple, but walking this path is not easy. And it is my hope that I'll be able to be a source of inspiration for you guys to either begin work walking that journey, picking up um, a book, or just taking action and no longer watching your life pass by. I also sincerely hope that I can live up to my own expectation in assisting you guys with this endeavor. I hope you guys will interact with me about these ideas. I really want to be someone that you can turn to to talk about um, these issues that you may be having or these strange ideas that you might be curious about. And I really do sincerely believe that even though this journey will be extremely difficult, again, especially in the beginning, the rewards on the other end will be amazing you will not be able to compare how amazing it is. And my friends, until the next video.